everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning for the week of January 30th through February 5th. So we're finally starting the month of February which means I finally get to start using some of my really cute Valentine's Day pink girly kits that I've bought. So the kit I'm going to be using this week is called Stay Sassy and it is by Scribble Prince Co. And this kit is absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you guys didn't get your hands on it, oh my gosh. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So I'm going to do a flip through of the kit really quick to show you what we're going to be working with and then we'll go ahead and get started. So the first sheet you get is your little freebie sheet and this is just, it's included with every deluxe kit and I've already used the little balloons but it's just super cute, has some really neat functional stuff on it. The next sheet is your deco, large icons, date dots, and time dots. Then you have your functional sheet with your weekly ombres, your flags, your flag checklist, and your mini icons. Then you've got your boxes, your solid washi and littles, patterned washi and headers, your ombre heart check boxes, full boxes, which, oh my goodness, these are just so adorable. I cannot wait. Oh. Your bottom washi and top date cover washi with your extra full box. And then I did add on her $5 glitter sampler, glitter sampler because I did want to use these all gold glitter headers. So I'm super, super excited about that. So I am going to speed up this plan with me, but I will be checking back in with you guys at the very end of the plan with me. So be sure to stick around for that. And I do want to show you, let me go grab them. I need my stuff that I pre-plan with. These, okay, so for my pre-planning, I use this. I'll kind of refer back to this, which there's not a ton going on this week, but this is one of the things I refer to. And then the other thing that I have that I refer back to is kind of my messy planner. Um, I just picked this up at like, I want to say it was Big Lots, honestly, last year. And this is just the one I take with me to school and everything. And it's just kind of my planner that's a little bit more like... I just kind of scribble things in like here you can see one week this is an example of a really good week during school so I just really just scribble things in and I just kind of use this as my pre-planning book so since I just started school back up I just pulled it out again and so yeah I'm gonna be referring back to this as well so if you guys see me pull this out that's what I'm doing um, and yeah so let's just get started
Okay guys, so I am back and I have filled out as much as I can. Um, I'm, I filled everything out with this Sharpie Fine Point black marker. Um, those do work best on scribble print stickers. Before I go ahead and do some deco with you guys, I kind of wanted to explain my planning because I know I haven't really done many plan with me's or this is like one of my first ones. So I kind of wanted to explain how I do things. So I do a plan ahead somewhat and I plan as I go somewhat. So let me show you the current week that we're on. So let me get back all the way back to January because it's so far. Um, this is the current week that we're on. So this week has not been super busy. It was my first week back in class. And so my to-do lists up here are extremely empty because I've been spending all my time and energy going to class, getting things done which for class, which I have down here, um, and things like that. Typically though, what I would do is like, today is Thursday, so probably for today, I'll go back and kind of think, okay, what did I do yesterday? What do I need to do today? And what do I need to do tomorrow? And I'm gonna plan for these three days today. And then Saturday and Sunday, I typically sit down Saturday morning and I kind of plan out how the weekend is going to go. Um, so I always post my end of week spreads up on my Instagram. So if you guys wanna see how it goes from this to a full filled out spread, then go ahead and follow me on Instagram. As far as my plan with me's go, this is probably what you guys are going to see as an end result for the videos, just because this is the easiest for me to do ahead of time. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions about the way that I plan or anything like that, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'm gonna kind of explain to you what things are empty and why they're empty, and then I will move on to some deco. So I have mostly everything filled out. This is school and this is spending. This I will go ahead and fill out probably on Sunday. Um, I like to get my planning as far as this goes done before Sunday, but as far as filling in details for the week ahead with school, I will do that on Sunday, especially because we just started school, so I don't really know my routine yet. Um, later in the semester, you guys might see me able to fill this out more during my plan with me's. Spending is very much as I go. So I like to track any expenses that I have during the week. If I go to the grocery store, how much did I spend there? If I did a recreational activity, how much did I spend doing that? So things like that. Um, also, my husband and I just currently booked a vacation. And so I'm kind of trying to track our spending as far as that goes. Um, we're going to be booking extra activities for our vacation throughout the next five months. So I'm kind of going to be tracking that right here as well. As well as because of our vacation, we're trying to save up. So tracking my spending is important. I have my two daily habit trackers, which one is homework and one is my devotional. I like to try and read my devotional every single day. So it's a good habit tracker to have. Um, everything over here except the to-do list is filled out. Like I said, I'll probably go through each morning and fill these out. I like, ideally, I like to try and get up each morning and fill them out. This week it's been a little bit rough because of school starting, but ideally that's what I like to do. Um, over here you see a lot more empty things. So these two days I am a substitute teacher and I try to work Thursdays and Fridays. So these two days I don't currently have a job lined up, but I'm hoping to find one and I'll just put them in here. They're not that hard to find, so. Um, and then right here, I want to go on a date night with my husband on Saturday. However, I don't know where we'll decide to go to dinner or what movie we'll decide to see. So I like to kind of fill that out afterwards. Um, and then none of my dinners are filled out just because I have to meal plan. So that's kind of what I've got going on right now. Um, yeah, I kind of struggle bust it through this um, plan with me. If you guys noticed, I had some like major issues, especially on this half of the week down here. I'm not really sure what happened, but things were getting kind of crooked. And But I went ahead and I fixed them and um, it's not perfect. Like this is still a bit crooked, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm trying not to be a perfectionist. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to do some deco. This deco is so cute, but this kit is so busy. Um, let me look at it for just a second.
that is about it for this week's plan with me. Um, if you guys are not already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. That is where I will post the final product. And if you guys have any questions, again, leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe and like this video. I can't wait to come back with more plan with me's. I'm probably going to be doing a rewind spread in my personal planner. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Bye.